This is a video describing what I was able to discover about how to get the spare tire down uh, off of a Ram 2500, this is a 2003, uh, without the spare tire removal tool. When I purchased this truck, it did not have anything uh, for, for uh, spare tire maintenance at all. It didn't have a jack, it didn't have the tire iron that you're supposed to use to uh, let down the winch that holds the spare tire up. So I looked around a little bit and I couldn't find anyone selling a replacement, so I decided to experiment a little bit. And this is what I was able to find out. So down here, this is what I have now. I got a bottle jack. I got a big wrench and some sockets. And this half inch extender. Now this thing will reach into the hole. Origi originally I got this because this uh, half inch square looked to be about right as far as uh, being able to clamp onto that. However, the diameter of this won't fit through the hole on the bumper. So I'll show you that uh, in a second. So, here I'll get down here so that maybe we can see inside. Okay, there's the spare tire let down lug, whatever it's called. And it's square. And it's really far back there. And it's above the tire. So you can't really get to it from below with a pair of pliers or whatever to let it down. So, unfortunately, there's no socket sets that I know of that have a half inch square on both sides. So I initially got this to try and go in there, but it doesn't fit. And then I also had the problem of what, what was I going to attach to that end anyway. Maybe some pliers or something, but... What I ended up doing is putting it on the end of this. And I found out that this size of socket, the 9 16 fit on the end of this. fits right in there and right over the end of that lug to the point where you can turn it. Let's see here if I can get a good view down here. see it coming down there. Well, I can see it coming down. It's hard to see on the video, I suppose. But you can see it. Now it's dangling there. And I'll winch it back up now. Tight now. Solid. And kind of have to get a little torque locked onto the onto the lug in there. This is not something that you want to do. 
if you don't have to. It just comes right off. And there you have it. So using common tools, uh, you can get that down. So I decided to keep that these tools in my truck so that if I ever need them on the side of the road, I've got them. So hope uh, that answers some questions for some people. I was unable to find any good tutorials online, and so I had to kind of make this myself. So there you have it. Have a good one.